At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use it will be measured back to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the motto of Pope Francis is this, having mercy, he has chosen him. He has adapted this from a homily of Venerable Bede on the call of Matthew the tax collector. It is a homily of the divine mercy. Pope Francis was touched by this homily and these words, having mercy, he chose him. Again, when he was 17, Francis made a confession on the feast day of St. Matthew. And there, he had a special experience of the mercy of God and he felt a call within himself to a religious life. After many years, to keep the memory of this great event, he chose these words as his motto. And we see that in the papal coat of arms. My dear friends, today all of us will agree that Pope Francis is an apostle of mercy and compassion in today's world. He experienced the mercy of God and he is sharing the same with others in the society and with the people. Today the Gospel passage began with the words of Jesus, Be merciful as even the Father is merciful. And how are we going to be merciful? Jesus gives us four ways to negative and to positive. The negative ones, do not judge and do not condemn. And the positive ones, forgive and give. The first one is, do not judge. We know that it is our tendency to judge others when we see something wrong or when we see some sinful or evil things in others. Today Jesus invites us not to judge others. There are two things that will help us to overcome our judgmental nature. First one is this, do not be self-righteous. Often we are self-righteous thinking that we are right or we are better than others. When we see something wrong in others, we need to thank God because it is not because of our merit we are not in that situation. We are not in that sinful situation, but it is because of the grace of God. God has helped us to overcome that sinful nature or sinful situation. So can we thank God because we are not in that sinful state or we are not going wrong? Can we see the speck in our eyes? Can we see the plank in our eyes? When we criticize others, when we point our finger towards others, it is a good thing that first we look into our own lives, we look into our own hearts. That is the first thing. Let us not be self-righteous. And second thing, it is good to remember that only God knows 
the inner motives of the person often we judge others seeing the outer appearance we don't know the inner thoughts of the person so can we make an attempt to see what made that person to go wrong or what led that person to a sinful situation then we may not judge that person and finally jesus said give and it will be given to you it has nothing to do with money but it is all about our relationship with others how do we treat others can we become more generous more forgiving more merciful let us continue to experience the mercy and love of god in this season of lent and let us become more merciful more forgiving more generous amen